For my behavior modification project, I wanted to improve my study skills. I don't know, everyone else has been feeling a little off since the pandemic, but the lack of social interaction and general schedule in my life has left me feeling like I'm not doing as well in school. In fact, it's not just a feeling. I know I'm not doing as well in school. I've been really struggling to stay on task and meet my goals and Oftentimes I find myself working way too hard near the deadline and then feeling burnout for a few days until another deadline seems to be approaching. And this is just this constant cycle of stress, overworking, and then numbing to underwork is leaving me feeling, has been leaving me feeling like I'm not moving towards my goals. So when this opportunity came up to modify my behavior in some way, I knew I needed to do something for school. I know I needed I knew I needed to do something about study skills. I know I enjoy reading and learning, but it just seems like without the natural ebb and flow of a regular class place, I'm not sure how to maintain or meet my goals. So when I sat and I thought about it, I would be, I thought it would be fantastic to suddenly develop great scheduling skills and be at home working from 9 to 11 every day without interruption and never doing anything but work for about eight hours every day. And when I started thinking about the scope of this project and how long we had, I got some great input from Professor Still. I realized that that was unattainable, um, especially for me in such a short period of time. So I decided, you know, let's look at the mountain of my course load. What is it that I'm stressed about every day? And it's reading. When it comes time for an exam, if I haven't been on top of my reading, I can have upwards of 400 pages to read in less than a week. It feels like no matter how much I read, I'm never on top of my reading. I can read 40 pages in a day, 100 pages in a day, and it just doesn't feel like I'm getting to it because I get burnt out after reading too much in one day. Then I want to take a break and watch lecture videos or other material. But in reality, I really need to stay on top of my course reading more than anything. So I decided to set a goal for behavior modification. I wanted to change the way I look at reading, change the way I look at school. I just need to do a little bit every single day. Not read a whole chapter or a hundred pages a day, just a little bit every day. Well, how do I achieve this? Well, I found I was spending too much time craving social interaction with COVID-19 and being at home so often. I find myself on Facebook or TikTok or texting or on the phone or zooming so much more than I ever have before. And it's not all interactions with those that I love. A lot of it is just mind numbing loss of time. So I, when I read about the pre-MAC principle, this idea of taking something that you have a high probability of doing and waiting to do it until you do a low probability task. So in other words, for me, reading my low probability task had to be complete before I would go on social media, my high probability task, the task I found myself doing quite frequently. So I set with a goal. Every day I would read a certain number of pages and at the end of that, once I met my goal, I could be on social media for an hour um, or screen time in general, whatever I wanted to do to feel relaxed and just enjoy myself for a full hour. So I started with a small achievable goal, five pages a day for the first week. Then I took a step up, seven pages a day for the second week. Next, I went to 10 pages a day. Great. Some of these days I found myself reading twice as what my goal was. Uh, looking to read my textbooks more in the afternoon 
uh, after I'd already met my goal because I was interested in following up on the material. I wanted to know what was going to go next. I want to know how that experiment turned out or what ended up happening with that idea. And it made me more engaged as a student. I was more interested in looking up additional information or going to my lectures and hearing about how what I had read would relate to the information. But not only that, once I woke up my brain in terms of learning, I wanted to learn more. And I didn't find Facebook or social media to be that interesting anymore. I wanted to get to the goal of reading 25 pages a day. This week I was supposed to be at 15, but I'm really struggling with it, so I'm going to go back to 10. And at 10 pages a day, I can meet my goals for reading. But if I find myself reading 12, 13, 14, or 15 pages regularly, I might up it to 15. I don't know that I'll ever get to 25, but with 10, I feel accomplished. I feel less stress. Um, within the month that I've been doing this experiment, my average pages read per day has doubled, going from 3.5 to 8.9. And if I continue at the rate I'm at, my pages read per month will always be higher than it was before. <laughs> um, even if I stay at 10 with that minimum of 300 pages a month, that's much higher than any of my monthly highs from before, being around 200. So not only will this help me stay on top of my course material, but it will help me feel like I'm achieving my goals towards school and hopefully help with the stress of being a student and preventing burnout. Not only that, but I hope it makes me a more curious person. I hope I continue to be more interested in the world around me and want to look up more information and read more books related to what I've already read. Since this challenge, I think I've added over a hundred books to my Goodreads to read list or my Amazon book list because I'm so excited to continue my reading and get a better understanding of some of these concepts that my textbooks are covering. Every morning I wake up first thing in the morning and I read my book and I'm excited about it. I go on to do my hour of social media and I find myself bored with it within the first 10 minutes. Maybe 15 or 20 if I'm feeling too tired to get out of bed, but I wake up first thing and read my book in bed and I'm excited to learn more. I didn't think I would I wanted this behavior modification to change how I am as a student and help me achieve my goals, but I didn't expect it to change my mind frame to this extent. I hope to continue this challenge for the rest of my life. And I'm excited to use principles similar to this to tackle issues of stagnation in my life moving forward. This gave me the understanding and the know-how to approach my own behavior as if it can be modified to fit my needs and my goals. Thank you.